Hi, I'm Stuart from Black Magic Design and I'm here at NAB 2024 to tell you all about the new Pixis 6K camera. This is Black Magic's most riggable camera using the 6K full frame sensor that has been seen in the Cinema Camera 6K FF. This camera has three different lens mount versions. So you have an EF lens mount if you are working with typical Canon, Canon glass, um, Sigma glass. You've also got on there as well um, an L mount. L mount has become more and more popular over the last 18 months because of its ability for adaptation. And then you also have a PL version. You'll see that as we, as we kind of navigate around the camera, that it, isn't, it is typically what you would expect from a box camera in that its form factor is, is light and it's versatile. So we're talking about something that is three pounds in weight. So it's light, I can hold this in one hand. It means that if I start to rig it with various other things, it's not going to add an enormous amount of weight to it. It's still going to be um, easy to work with, easy to use. But as I start to show you different elements of it, if we look at the top, the first thing that you'll see is that we have multiple mounting points. So we can now start to add a significant number of things to the top of the camera, whether it be handles, whether it be external monitors, whether it be lights, whether it be some form of rig that, that we want for the top handle. As we then look at the bottom, it's a mirror image of the top. So again, we have the same number of mounting points at the bottom as we do on the top. And then as we look at the side, you'll see that there are four screws here. These four screws actually enable this side plate to remove so we can add an, a, an, a range of different accessories to it. Blackmagic is providing accessories such as cheese plates, rosettes, and also when you buy the camera, you also get um, a plate that has two straps on it. So if you want to connect an external SSD or if you want to connect your phone to the unit, you can actually connect that on the side and actually use those Velcro straps to hold it there. As you look at the front of the camera, you'll see that there is a mini XLR connection on the front for audio. There is also a USB-C connection there, which is for the viewfinder. So Blackmagic announced a new viewfinder for the Ursus Cine. That's also compatible with the Pixis 6K. When you turn to the side of the camera, you'll see all of the main transport controls and all the controls of the camera. This is using Blackmagic's operating system. We have a touch screen to navigate through all of the menus, as well as a series of push buttons as well for general controls, such as record, um, function keys, and also playback um, buttons. You also have a lock here as well, so you can lock things out so that people don't press anything by accident. As you go around to the back of the camera, you will see your on-off switch, you'll see your two CF Express cards, and you'll also see headphone and microphone. You will also see an additional USB-C for offboarding your, um, your media so you can record um, offboard the camera. You'll also see on there as well that we have an, S an SDI connection on there as well. We also have a reference connection, and then we have a one gig ethernet connection for access to the media so that you can also take your media directly from the camera and you can also stream directly out of this too. The camera is powered by a BPU battery, which will last around about three hours. We've tried to consider every practical use for a box camera. We've given people a large screen on the side so that you can, um, you can visualize what it is that you're seeing. You can navigate through those menus easily, but it wouldn't surprises at all if somebody wanted to mount an additional video assist on top as well so um, so obviously a lot of people working with box cameras add additional monitors too and the most important thing of all is that this carries not only 6k resolutions but it also carries 4k resolution as well all using black magic design raw and the 13 stops of dynamic range that gives it an unbelievable picture now the ef and the l mount they retail at two thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars so just under three thousand dollars for PL, you're going slightly more expensive. It's going to be $3,100. Mm -hmm.